Sir, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Passage of Skin. What is a crack with you all? I'm glad to have you back here to check out some more videos. Today, for an episode of Cold Open, we are taking a look at Elliot Quest. Now, I saw images of this with that soldier over in the far side, and our little, um, well, essentially, I honestly thought it, it kind of looks like Kid Icarus, actually. But, uh, or Pit, essentially. Kid Icarus is Pit, that's his real name. Uh, a Pit-like, uh... Arrow merchant here, and of course a big soldier to fight. And looking at the art style, I was going like, "This is a interesting." I like the, I just like the fact that it's like really well drawn. It's very drawn to life rather than anything else. And I was curious to find out what the rest of the game was, so I reached out to the developers. They give me a code. Let's see what Elliot Quest brings us. I'm feeling it's going to be a very retro style game, possibly a side on, yeah, a side on kind of RPG. Uh, uh, maybe like um. Monster World or 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 Zelda Two, which um, a lot of people not a lot of people aren't big fans of Zelda Two. I'm actually a, I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. Okay, um, jumping in the quest log here. New game. We obviously I've loaded it up a couple of times just to see, but um, I didn't actually look anything past the intro. Oh man, no matter how many times I die, it never gets any easier. Now, where was I? Right, finding the Guardian and the Satyr's Curse. Let's keep things simple for now, Kara. Oh, your name is Kara. Cool. So find the Guardian. End the satyr's curse. Okay. That sounds like a plan. Is that all we gotta do? Okay. Let's get out of here. Okay, so since you're fighting slimes at the very beginning here, um, I'm imagining that this is a intentional, like, stylistic choice to go with the really simplified look. It's uh, reminding me of old RPG games. Well, admittedly, it doesn't make me think of uh, Monster World. Or, uh, well, maybe, maybe it does make me think of Zelda. Wow! You little shit! Come here! Live, you little fuck! Come here! Ah! Son of a bitch! I'm gonna wait for you to come up again. <laughs> you fucking deserve that! Appearing out of nowhere without giving me any warning. All the coins! Money! I'm assuming that's actually to buy, um,. Whoa, 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 okay. Well, again, like diving beetles, I remember from um, Mario 3, I think it was. Oh, shit, that one actually split into two, like a good slime does. But if the Guardian doesn't help me, what am I going to do? Well, I don't know what you're going to do, buddo, but um, I know I'm going to shoot whatever comes in front of me, so might as well shoot the Guardian in the face if he doesn't help you. I mean... Gives you options. Jump it, jump it, jump it. Oh, break the boxes. Okie dokie. Oh, we're in a cavern already. There we go. What is this? Ba -da -da -da. Map, I'm imagining. Aha! Hidden. <laughs> Always break the walls, yet don't think they're brick. In fact, I've got a feeling this could be Metroid in me, where I think there's someone there, but then there's actually someone in this bit. No, no, or that bit. No, nothing there. That's grand. Okay, yeah, like sometimes Metroid would actually hide something in the walls that you're meant to notice, but you're not. You're only going to notice if you started like bombing every part of the goddamn room, or you used a super bomb, I suppose. Oh, that was a good shot. That made me a little bit moist, actually. Right, so, I mean, this is a really simple platformer, um, shoot up, uh, exploration. I'm assuming where it says things are critical, I'm actually doing more damage sometimes than others, so... I don't know what the needs for critical actually are, but maybe it could be just precision and distance. Hey! The music really reminds me of Zelda. Do you know, like almost like the uh, not the dungeons, but the kind of like persistent overworld noises. Just in case. Ah ha I knew it. I failed to be the smarter man. Right, right. Oh, run, jumping, don't be afraid of what you can't see, Elliot. That's what you always said. But you're gone, it's just me now. So I'm not Elliot. Is that what Elliot said? 
Okay. Oh shit! <laughs> First boss. Okay, dokey. Oh, hey there, slime boy. Whoa, whoa! Uh, crap. Got no idea what you're gonna do. Nice. Oh, health. Oh, you little shit. Uh, I wish I could shoot upwards. Yeah, I thought he was going to drop a uh, heart there. Oh, well, that's money. Money can buy me health. I probably can buy me health if I'm in the store. Hey! First slime boss come defeated. So yeah, that was actually kind of fun. Um, and I mean, essentially the gameplay is pacey enough to get to our first little kind of boss area that early on. Ooh, not yet. Need more time. It's Groundhog Day! You always have plenty of time. It's the same 24 hours, day in, day out. Okay. Oh, I'm in control. Um, what the fuck was that? Did me stand in the darkness for a wee bit? Right. Well, that was that saved. Oh shit! Fucking frog. Fuck the frog. There we go. So um, yeah, this is Elliot's quest. That was actually the first boss to jump into in this, and um, basically I'm imagining that it continues on in this vein. Uh, bosses, of course, escalating. Uh, character evolving as you go along because I seem to actually be having money so I'm gonna have to buy equipment and stuff and there's crystals to unlock and what else is there? Oh, there actually has stats. So I imagine I actually increase those over time. Hell, there's even like a look uh, gauge at the top for good evil and chaotic and whatever. Um, I've never been a big fan of those kind of like gauges because they always tend to actually like really sway I mean, no person is a naturally good being, so taking all the good choices, still sometimes they sound like they're, you're being a bit of an ass, but you're just being an ass for a good reason. But, um, yeah, this has been Elliot's Quest. I haven't actually I've had any problems with this game at all. I actually enjoyed it. That was actually kind of fun. So, Elliot's Quest, uh, a Zelda 2-style RPG. So, very recently we actually had a look at one that's kind of it being the, A Link to the Past with uh, Nobu Yamatsu at the Audio Elm. This one audibly sounds like a Zelda game, really does, definitely. And even has uh, the same style as the 2D scroller. Although, admittedly, it's... The character sprite's smaller. I don't know. May maybe this is actually feels like a demux or demake of a SNES game. Maybe. Or even a NES game. But um, obviously has much larger content and much more detailed uh, information. Although, using the bow and arrow, it's very, very slow. The movement's a little bit awkward. I hope that actually increases as you increase your stats. I might actually come back and check out a little bit more of this. If you guys want to see it, of course, that is the reason why. You have to actually like and share and comment underneath the video. If you made it this far in the video, you probably have a reason to actually say something. And if you actually want to see other stuff other than more Elliot Quest, you can just hit the subscribe button and follow me. And you'll actually get a notification every single time I actually post up a video. And if you don't want all that pressure and actually have to see that coming up on a regular basis, then what you can do is just memorize my name, Pass the of Skin. Throw it into Google, type it in, search it, you can find me. I ain't trying to hide. So guys, if you actually enjoyed this show, I hope you actually find it on whatever platform you desire and that she is easy to watch. And uh, speaking of different platforms, on YouTube, and pop, there we go. There should be boxes up here now. One of them will be a cold open box of a playlist of all the other shows that have done of this particular type. Over in the far side will be the most recent episode. And right here is a video for you because it's based on the YouTube analytics and all the details that comes in from you searching on the channels or on YouTube in general. So this one is for you. This one's actually fitting exactly to your taste. I recommend you check out that one. Guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next quest. Bye.